In this tutorial, we're going to go old school. No 3D characters, no imported images, no AI, just a pen tool, some shapes, and a couple of sound effects for this farm scene. Let's watch the video first and then we'll come back to explain how everything was done. Before we get into it, I have to say first that this video moves very quickly through some of the more boring stuff and anything that's important. I'll actually take the time and explain it and slow it down for you. You can slow the video down on your own, so if there are some parts that are a little bit too fast, all you have to do is just click on the gear icon and then select the playback speed. You can slow it down to 75%, 50%, or even 25% speed so you can see some of the more detailed stuff that interests you. As usual, you can contact me via the comments on YouTube or on the Create Studio Facebook group if you have any specific questions about something you saw in the video. In this first section, I'm going to show you how to create Squeaky the Worm. It's very easy. All you have to do is use the pen tool and the Bezier curve, as I am doing here. Squeaky needs to look a little bit like a spring so that we can animate him by stretching him out and shrinking him down. That's how he slinks across the farm. Now that Squeaky has a body, we're going to add some animation by making him slink across the farm. We accomplish this by stretching him and shrinking him as he moves to the right. The stretching and shrinking happens by adding multiple distortion animations. Distortion is actually two actions, the position and the scale actions. By distorting Squeaky as he moves from left to right, it makes him look like he is moving himself. Now we're going to build the rooster. The rooster needs a body, a beak, a comb, and a leg. Oh, by the way, the red parts that grow on a rooster's head and under his beak are called a comb, and they help to regulate its body temperature.
Now that we've hatched our rooster, it's time to animate him. And we do this the same way that we did with Squeaky the Worm, by adding the distortion animation with one difference. Here, we're actually going to use a distortion tool, because when a rooster crows, it actually stretches its body upwards. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to stretch him upwards and to the left, and then we're going to bring them back down again. Now we're going to work on the sunflowers. The sunflowers need the stem, the leaves, the head, and the yellow leaves that come out around the head. So that's quite a few parts that we're going to build, and everything is going to be synced so that it all shows up and grows as the plant grows. We use Shaped to create most of the sunflower only using the pen tool for the leaves. As you will see here, the stem gets thicker as it grows. The leaves get larger and move upwards on the stem as the plant grows. The head starts to form and get bigger when the stem reaches half of its fill height and finally the plant blossoms as the yellow leaves appear. After building the first sunflower, I duplicate it three more times, spread them out and adjust the timing so that they grow at different speeds and different sizes. Now we are going to make the sun. It's the easiest part of this scene because it's just a circle, colored yellow, and the animation is just going to be from the bottom left corner up, about one third of the way to the right and up to the top of the screen. That's it.
In the next couple of sections, we're going to build the grass, the ground, the sky, and the barn. They're going to move pretty fast, but like I said, you can slow down the video and watch them if that's of interest to you. Now we're going to start putting everything together in the right positions, in the right sizes, in the right layers, and see how everything works.
Now that we've got everything placed and sized properly the way we need it, it's time to do the camera work, so I'm going to bring the camera component onto the scene so that it starts zoomed in on the rooster and then pans back so you can see the whole scene. Place your playhead before the camera section and adjust the zoom box to focus on the rooster. We don't need to do anything after the camera's initial zoom because the wide shot was already set up when we dragged the camera component onto the workspace. The last thing to do is set up our nighttime to daytime animation. We do this by setting up a rectangle with a gradient and making the color black. The top edge of the rectangle will have an opacity of 0%, which will represent daytime. The middle part of the rectangle, which will represent nighttime, will have an opacity of around 60%. This will require some adjustment, as you will see, including the addition of an opacity animation to the rectangle itself. There are many ways of achieving this same effect, such as using a rectangle with just an opacity animation and no movement, but I wanted to create the effect of the sunrise spreading across the farm. Well, there you have it, a farm scene made completely without 3D characters, imported images, or AI. The pen tool is a powerful component of Create Studio for building almost anything you need in a scene. With a bit of practice and the use of gradients, you can build almost anything you need. Happy creating. I can't wait to see what you create next. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click on that notification bell so you are alerted whenever we put out new videos.